Hello, in this video we're going to make a snake. This is one of the most ambitious animals that we've made in this series, so you're going to need a lot of toilet rolls. I've got this big box here that I'm going to use. You're also going to need some scissors, some bubble wrap, some pencils or pens, and then just lots of things that you might have lying around the house to make interesting marks with. So I've got a sponge, some cardboard, just random things that I've found on my desk. You can use almost anything. You also want some paintbrushes and some string and some paint. First, we're going to decorate the toilet rolls with lots of different methods. So first of all, we're going to use a paintbrush to paint some of the sections green. Next, I'm going to use some bubble wrap. This gives a really interesting effect and makes it look a bit like scales on our snake. So I paint the bubble wrap and then just roll the toilet roll over the paint like this. Now you can do any colour snake that you like. I just wanted to do a green snake. So my snake is green all over and I'm doing the scales in different ways. And you can try any of these ways or none of these ways. It's all up to you. Now for this one, I've just taken an old card. This is my B-Sync card. You could use an old credit card or any kind of card lying around. And then I just dip it in paint and just use it to make some stripes like this. Really easy. You could use an old side of cardboard to do this. It would work just as well. Remember, if you want to use a credit card, make sure to ask your parents permission before you use it. Don't just take a card and use it in paint because you will ruin the card. I had some cardboard lying around that had this interesting pattern on the inside. So I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to press it against the toilet roll. And this leaves an interesting mark for our scales. Next I'm using a sponge to decorate the toilet rolls. So again, green paint and I'm just going to sponge all over. And this gives a texture that looks a little bit like scales, I think. Quite snake-like. Of course, if you're feeling a bit more like drawing, you can draw your scales using a felt tip pen. So here I am just drawing the scales in a green pen over the toilet roll. I really liked this effect, so I did another one with bigger scales, which was a bit faster. And then I also coloured in all the scales with different colours of green. You could do this with colouring pens or crayons as well. It would work really well. Then I got a bit more wacky and decided to use this cork from a bottle and just sort of dunked it in the paint and used the edge to make a scale shape. This kind of works, I quite like it, but it does take a little bit of time. And you also get quite covered in paint while you're doing it. Once you've painted all of your sections, however many you want and however you like, Next will come making the head and also the tail. And then after we've made the head and the tail, we will thread them together. I've chosen this toilet roll to make my head. 
as I like the look of the patterns, I made this using the bubble wrap. You'll also need some tape. And we also need a bigger tongue, so I have some tissue paper here, which is red, and I'm going to draw a tongue shape onto it. The snakes have forked tongues, so I need to make sure that I draw the tongue with two sections at the end, like this. Then it's time to cut out the tongue. And if you need some help with the scissors, just ask an adult to help you with this section. Once the tongue is cut out, it's time to stick it into the head of our snake. So I think it looks good there. I'm just going to get some tape and then I will tape it into the head like this. Once I'm happy with where the tongue is, I'm going to press the end of the head down and then tape over the ends like this. Then I've got a little bit of green paint and I'm just going to paint over the tape so you can't really see it. Next, I'm going to take a hole punch and punch a hole in the bottom of the head. I need to flatten down the cardboard so I can fit it in. If you don't have a hole punch, you could probably ask an adult to do this for you with some scissors or a pencil. There we go. This is so we can tie our string later. Now the snake needs some eyes, so I have some paper and a pen and I'm going to draw two large eyes for our snake, like this. Then I'll cut them out and using a print stick I will glue them onto the head of the snake. Now it's time to do the tail. The tail is much easier than the head. I'm just going to squish down the section I've chosen and then hole punch the end again like this.
Then the section that doesn't have the hole, I'm going to squish down and tape closed to make a point so that our tail is nice and pointy. And I still have some paint left so I can paint over the tape so you don't see it as much. Ooh, we're really close to finishing the snake. So now all we need to do is to thread together all of the pieces. So we take the string and pull off a large section of it. this and then we'll thread it through the holes of the head and tie together like this. Now the string is attached to the head, we can start threading the other sections of the snake onto the string. And you can do this in whatever order you like. Get all your toilet rolls that you've painted and decorated with scales and thread them onto your string. Like this. Oh, he's looking quite long. When you've threaded on all of your sections, it's time to tie on the tail. So take the end of your string and poke it through the holes of the tail and then you tie a knot like this. And there we have it, the snake is finished! Oh and she's beautiful. Look how long she is. Look at all her different scales, she's so green. There are many different types of snakes all over the world, and a lot of them are green. There are several species that are called green snake, all belonging to the same family and named for their colour. There's some more information about green snakes down below in the description. This snake I've made today is very long, she's about 150 centimetres. What type of snake do you think she could be? Hmm. Let me know in the comments. Here she is, all curled up, ready to sleep.